All right, welcome back to our build of our tiny teardrop trailer. And uh, today, we're gonna paint a trailer frame. So I'll show you what I'm gonna use. I'll show you the trailer, mix up some paint, and then give you a shot of spraying it, which I'm sure you've never seen before. So that's our plan for today, is to uh, get some paint on this trailer. And then once all the paint's dry, then we'll go through and we'll punch some holes get the axle mounted on it, we'll flip it over, get the tongue ja uh, the, the uh, tongue receiver on it, whatever that thing is, the hitch, I don't know, the ball thing, you know what I'm talking about. We'll get that on there and a uh, jack, and then we can get this box set on our trailer and put it in the garage for the winter. We'll do some work over it, over the winter time. <laughs> yeah, all right. So that's our plan for today. Stick it out and uh, watch till the end. So for a paint, we're going to use oil base, protective enamel, gloss white. We're going to paint the trailer white. That way it should be somewhat inconspicuous under the trailer. I'll use some acetone to thin it out just a little bit, maybe a 4 to 1 ratio. Throw it in the gun, stir it up, and then we will shoot it. I have the trailer sitting on uh, our saw horses here, and we are clean. All the welds that I need flat are ground down, so I think it's ready for some paint. Here's our little dog ears. This is what the uh, what the axle is going to rest on, bolt through, and that way uh, easy access. So I have my can of paint shook up pretty good. Nice gloss white. We're going to take a little bit of paint, uh, tape here. We're going to make a poor man's spout. That makes it easier to pour. No, I'm not straining it out. Let me just peel up our tape here. Nice clean job. Next, I'm just going to add a little bit of acetone in here and uh, so I'm about right here with the paint, so I'll come up about a quarter inch inside. That's it. Just thin it out ever so slightly. Nice little stick. And now we'll give it a good stir. We'll stir this for a little while, make sure it's uh, mixed thoroughly. Put on our respirator, and we'll shoot some paint. Now we're mixed and ready to go. It's time to rock and roll. We'll hook some air up to this, set our pattern. Got a little piece of test wood here. Make sure that we got the right fan spray, and uh, we're ready to go.
report. Trailer turned out great. So now we just wait for things to dry. I still have the axle to pull out, get it cleaned up, and coat that. But I think we are just about ready. So let me show you what I've done, what it looks like. You let me know. Does it look good or not? All right. Well, it's probably a little difficult to see out here in the sun, but got a nice glossy shine on that beast. No runs, no drips, no errors. And we got a good coat over everything. I'm happy with it. I think it looks great. Turned out just right. And I think it's going to look nice underneath the trailer. Now, while it sits out here, we do get a couple of stinking bugs in it, but those will wipe off tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully. All right. I think that looks doggone good. Now, on a little different note, um, my buddy Jack who has lived next to me for four years, best friend, builder, uh, had many great nights, great days, conversation. He and his wife decided to move back to Boston, Massachusetts, and uh, so they left on September 25th. So it's been about, it's been about a little over a week now. It took them five days to get there, and Everything's okay, I guess. So, it's kind of strange being with somebody for four years, day, and almost practically nights because we spent a lot of nights out here at the garage and bounced ideas off of each other and helped each other on projects and such. It's kind of kind of different when they're not around any longer. And uh, when I step outside the house, I look over and expect to, to see them pop out any second, but no more. So I wish my buddy Jack best of luck uh, in everything he does. And he's a likable guy, funny, and uh, everybody who met him just falls in love with him. So I love you, Jack, and I'm sure you'll be back at some point. We got a lot of trailers to build, so uh, that's all I got to say about that. All right, the next thing that we're going to do on our little uh, painting scheme here is we're going to go ahead and prep the axle, and we are going to go ahead and spray paint that. For that, I'm just going to use a uh, regular spray can. should uh, dry in about an hour or two, and then we'll set that on the trailer and mark for some holes, and we'll get some holes drilled. We've got some number 8 bolts or grade 8 bolts that we're going to use to fasten the axle with the trailer frame. Probably put the tires on and turn it over. So, let me show you what, uh, what I intend to do real quick. So just real quick, the axle's laying here on the table. We, uh, we're gonna flip it over. We'll do some paint on the top, and then we flip it over on this side, and uh, it'll rest on our spindles here, and I'll be able to coat everything. Let that set up and dry. I'm gonna take some plastic bags and cover this up. We don't wanna get paint on here. I don't, I don't think it's necessary. We're just gonna do basically the axle frame and the uh, mounts and that should look pretty good under the trailer once it's done so let me get that cleaned up I'm just gonna blow it off wipe it take some steel wool wipe it down real quick with some steel wool and uh, then take a rag with some acetone and just wipe over it it doesn't have to be the greatest thing remember it's a backyard do-it-yourself build so we're doing it uh, reasonably quick and priced
that set up for a little bit before I put a second coat on. Rust-Oleum 2X paint and primer. All right, so we have the axle painted and it matches the trailer. Nice, bright, glossy white. Obviously that's the bottom, so we'll get it mounted onto the trailer. I'll show you how to square it up. We'll attach it and throw some wheels on it. All right, so I went ahead and drilled the holes for the axle and inserted the uh, bolts, washers, and nuts. We have it setting on here. These are just hand tightened and uh, that way we can, we've got a little wiggle room. So now we want to square up the axle to the front of the tongue. So we're going to put a tape measure on there and we're going to go to the center of our axle right here on both sides and what we're looking for is the same dimension. That way we know it's not cocked one way or the other which will cause a little bit of a tracking problem and a little wear and tear on your tires. So we're going to make sure that that's square. So let's do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a tape measure and set it right here in the center. And it gives us a little wiggle room. We're going to stretch that back. And come to our hub. Let's see if I can get this in here. And I'm eyeballing that at about 101 and 5 sixteenths. So that's what I want on the other side. So we need to get our tape measure up here. Set it back into the center. Come along and stretch that. Come to the center of our hub here. And 101 and 5 sixteenths. So, our axle is square to the trailer frame. So, when we bolt it down tightly, we should have a uh, nice straight tracking on this. I think it's going to look good. Once I get those tightened up, then we'll uh, throw the tires on here, wheels and tires. And we're just about ready to flip it over. But before we do, I have a couple of stabilizer jacks that we need to get drilled and installed here. And before I do that, I have to buy one more stabilizer jack. I crushed it on the other trailer. So, we'll purchase that. We'll get us a nice tool to drill through this because this is a quarter inch plate and I don't know if I called for that or not but <laughs> that's what I've got so that's pretty beefy and uh, well let me show you the jack so we'll, uh, we'll utilize one of our little stabilizer jacks here and it'll be installed in such a manner about like that on both sides and I'll open it up and show you what that looks like when uh, it's fully retracted. So fully retracted, that's what it's gonna look like. Reach under the trailer, pull it out, swivel it up, and uh, lift on that, and that'll drop it down to the ground. And then it's pretty stable. So we need to do that on both sides. And like I said, I only have one, so I need to purchase one more before I can actually uh, call that done. But we've got a couple of holes to drill, we'll fasten that, bolt it down, be good to go. And there we go, folks. Trailer frame is nearly complete. We have the axle installed, everything's painted, tightened down, and uh, I wrote it, rotated the spindles so that we're at zero degrees. That gives me a ground clearance of about 14, maybe 13, 14 inches. So, I still have to uh, install the stabilizer jack and the hitch for the front and the tongue jack ready to flip it over. Get that body on there. Alright, I think that's going to do it for this video. So, uh, 
trailer is all but done. The trailer frame is all but done. Uh, got a few components left to put on it, and then we can flip it over, and then we can get the box installed on top of that. And uh, I'm going to have some friends help me out, because this thing's a beast now, and it weighs a lot, and I can't lift it by myself. So, uh, next video, I'll give you a shot of what I've done uh, to the trailer frame since today, and then uh, show you putting this thing on the the. the the box on the trailer frame. That should be interesting. We'll hope we see if we get it lined up just right. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, give it a thumbs up. And uh, as always, I, I you know I appreciate all the likes and comments and subscribers. So uh, that means a lot. Thank you. And until then, stay tuned.